comic, and I am so excited to have this guy coming up here. He has an amazing podcast called Hell Gigs, where people talk about the shittiest shows they've ever done. Not this one, though. Give it up for Colin Chamberlain! Yes, nice to be here. We're outdoor dining. Who likes the outdoor dining? Clap if you like outdoor dining. Yeah, remember when we called outdoor dining picnics and it was like a real chore? And now it's an event. It's crazy. My girlfriend was like, hey, do you want to have dinner with me tomorrow night uh, in the street? I was like, not, not really, no. Uh, is that okay? It's crazy. I don't understand. Now we go to a restaurant and they ask, uh, smoking or non-smoking, they're talking about the fumes from cars. They're like, that's... <laughs> I think the real appeal of eating inside is that you might probably definitely won't get hit by a car. Like, I think that's the real pro of eating inside. You show up and they're like, oh, would you like a table um, near the stop sign or by the street light? I was like, well, nobody's by the dumpster. Can we maybe pull some tables over by the dumpster? I don't know. I just think that restaurants should reflect their prices uh, better for the predicament. Like... Ruth Chris is still charging $75 for a porterhouse steak, and across the street is someone masturbating and smoking crack. I was like, like, do you want some pepper? I was like, yeah, I would love some pepper. In my eyes. Could you put them in my eyes? That would be, you could put them in. And also, he looks like he needs some help, too. I, uh, I don't know. We stop eating outside. and stop. Also, people that are working out in the pandemic, stop that. Stop that. That's... What are you doing? Uh, I I quit I quit in in February just because I had a feeling something was coming. I was like, oh, uh -uh, I'm done. We're all gonna be virtual real soon. Uh, I was licking handles and doorknobs and everything. I was getting ready for it. Here's instead of working out, I just have a bunch of bigger shirts that I wear for every Zoom meeting. Uh, and then people are like, are you losing weight like super fast? I was like, yeah, I am. Uh, what is that? Keto? Is it yes, keto or Corona? I don't know. Uh, but it's real good. I um, I used to love working out at Planet Fitness, my favorite place in the world. Yeah, people make fun of Planet Fitness, but I like it because it's the only gym I've been to where I look better than the staff, and that's nice. We go in, and the trainer's like, "So, what are your problem areas?" I was like, "I'm same as you, man. Like same." Is that how this works? I point on your body. Is that what? What is this, like a Big Brother program where like I help you and then by the end I've helped myself? It's, they have pizza every day at Planet Fitness. Some people think it's once a month. It's every single day. They have hot pizza and TVs. If they start serving Coors Light, they're going to turn into a sports bar. It's real close. It's, my girlfriend was like, how was your workout? I was like, it was pretty good. I uh, had two slices of pepperoni and I watched Blade Runner on TNT. So it was real good, actually. I gotta cut some weight, gotta lose some weight. I'm on this new fad diet where you go to McDonald's and you get a cheeseburger and they take it back to your house and you go into your bathroom, you take off all your clothes, stand in front of your mirror and then try to eat your food. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole diet. Uh, and it's pretty effective. Uh, if, you, if you're looking to cut weight real quick, that's the way to do it. Because if you can eat a McDonald's cheeseburger naked while looking at yourself in the eyes, you've earned it. So that's... That's how you know the diet's over. Uh, you're like, all right, nothing's shaking. I guess I'll finish my sandwich. This is good. And I just don't really understand. Some of them are real thinkers. I, uh, I, I, I'm a pretty highbrow comic. I'm talking about eating naked. I, uh, you might have to let them sink in. I, uh, I don't know. I don't really understand health food though. You know, it's too confusing. Going to the stores and it's like kombucha and wheatgrass and other lawn clippings. And uh, there's always like a white girl with dreadlocks working, but her name tag says Gary, you know? And I'm just like, hey, Gary, how are you? How are you doing today? Uh, and I would love to, to be there, but she's got a million questions. She's like, do you want to start your day with a shot of bee pollen? I was like, I'll probably just wait to get stung, you know, if that's all right. She said, well, how do you feel about probiotics? I was like, listen, I'm not very political, honestly. I don't even know. I think that's a girl thing. Uh, and... Let me just get an Akai bowl. She was like, it's a sign. I was like, okay. You're going to correct me on names, Gary? I kind of saw this coming. I, I, is your manager around? She's like, yeah. Some guy comes out. He's like, hi, I'm Ashley. I was like, I'll just go back to McDonald's. I'd rather, I'd, 
rather be naked than do this. Uh, I like McDonald's. At least it's consistent. You know, it's Big Macs, it's Quarter Pounders, it's COVID, and I like that. I like that you know <laughs> what you're getting when you walk in. Does anybody here have a favorite fast food place? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Recovering drug addict, good for you. I. That's good. What was, what'd you say? Wendy's. I like Wendy's, but they try. They, they relax. This will not turn into a rally. I, um, you all have a chance to speak. I, I like Wendy's, but they get a little bit too big for their britches sometimes, don't they? Like, oh, try our new Tuscan Caprese burger. I was like, Caprese? Really? You got it from Tuscany, did you? Wendy's? It's six ninety nine. I don't think you imported it, you know? Now they have a sandwich that was with real Vermont maple syrup. Do you think the fry cook is getting up every morning and walking to Vermont like, we got to get this syrup out of this tree. I know I'm only making minimum wage, but it says real Vermont syrup, so we better get it. I I don't know. I don't like that. What, did someone, someone say something else? Chick-fil-A, you got your stimulus check? Good for you. I, uh, that's nice. Some people don't like Chick-fil-A. They did get into politics, which was weird that a chicken restaurant stepped into that <laughs> arena. It'd be crazy if like, there was just a Senate meeting. I was like, all right, now the senator from Bojangles will be speaking, and in a moment, the representative from KFC will have a turn. Uh, I don't, here's the thing. Whether you like them or not, they're still open. And they tricked us. They really did trick us. They were like, hey, we got chicken sandwiches and waffle fries. Gays can't get married, which is like a milkshake. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. They're like, you want a milkshake? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Just say yes. And I'm drinking the milkshake, and now I'm, you know, love Joel Osteen. I, uh, it was crazy. But like, we're not, they're open. It's real, just, it's just a testament to how good their chicken is. Like, that is some, that's a really good recipe for homophobic chicken. You know, like, if they're still a line out the door. I know gay people that still eat a Chick-fil-A. And I was like, hey, we've swallowed worse than our pride. So, uh, I guess just... It's their words. It's their words, not mine. I will call them after the show. I um, I moved in with my girlfriend at the beginning of the pandemic, which yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody makes mistakes, and uh, it's been good. It's been real good. I was like, why are we both paying rent? Uh, there's a reason. Uh, there's a reason. Space is the reason. I um learned a lot about her when I moved in with her. For one of the things she does is she opens chips from the side of the bag, which, yeah, I don't know if you can visualize this, but she takes a bag of chips that are like this, and then she turns it on its side and rips it long ways. <laughs> I was like, well, I hope you're hungry because we don't have enough clips to put that bag back together. Um, better pull up to the table, because that's dinner. Like, are you crazy? You can't put that back in the cupboard. I'm just gonna spill chips every time I grab for it. I was like, what happened? Were you starving to death when you opened that bag of chips? Is that why you opened it like that? She's like, no, I just needed a snack. I was like, cool, cool, cool. And I didn't say anything. And then three days later, I woke up screaming. I was like, it's from the top. And she's like, what's wrong? I was like, I was just having a nightmare about a musical. And uh, we've been fighting a lot just because we've watched everything. And in... We got into an argument the other day um, on how I walked in the room, which I didn't know there was a wrong way to do that. Uh, I just thought it was either in or out. I didn't know there was a choice B or C, you know. I walked in and I could tell she was upset over how she was uh, breathing. She was doing this a lot. <laughs> I was like, do you need some water or something? She's like, no, I'm fine. I was like, okay, here we go. Let's... The gloves are off now. You're fine, are you? Now it's time to dance the devil's dance. I have to solve this riddle. You know what my prize is? A big, juicy argument. That's what I get. That's what I get if I'm right. Now I'm just playing guess who with my own faults. I'm like, if it's because I'm, I snore, I'm lazy, I'm bad at lovemaking, what is it? What is it? And she's like, more, more things. She's writing them down. Uh, she's like, no, the reason I'm upset is when you walked in the room, you didn't greet me. I was like... Um, I'll greet you. We live in a one-bedroom apartment. Who did you think it was? It's me. Every day, it's me. I said good morning. I thought that counted for the day. Like, was I... Do you remember me from breakfast? Same guy. Same guy from breakfast. What do I live in the sound of music where I gotta walk in every room? Like, hello, it's me, the guy you claim to love. Like, are you... 
So now when I come in, I just really overdo it. I go, good evening, m'lady. It is I, Colin, son of John the businessman. And one doth wonder if the good lady will ever change out of her dirty sweatpants. Yay or nay? Yay or nay? The good lady says nay, and I shall leave the kingdom for a fortnight. Yes, I shall. Yes, I shall. All right, guys, you're a lot of fun. Have a good night. God, give it up for Colin Chamberlain! What's so funny about that is I was like, I would totally get pissed about that too! <laughs> you don't fucking greet me, come in? Goddamn. Okay!